You need to complete the community center if you want to make any progress in this game, but it can be overwhelming if you just started playing. Don't worry, I got you. To gain access to the community center, you will need to enter the town from this exact spot after 8am after the fourth day in spring. Mayor Lewis will chat to you and after that you will need to enter the community center and click on this golden scroll. This step is very important so do not skip it. The very next day the wizard will send you some mail. He will invite you over to his tower in the Cindersap forest. After meeting him he will teach you how to understand the language on this scroll. After you have done this you will be able to complete bundles for the community center. Just in case you didn't know if you hover over an item in your inventory the community center icon will pulse indicating that you still need to donate it keep that in mind before selling anything the first bundle you will be able to complete is the foraging bundle these are really easy just walk around the world of Stardew valley and pick up forageables remember that forageables will always reset on a sunday so you could wait until saturday to go foraging and you should be able to find everything you need relatively easily remember to do this for every season including winter there are two more bundles to complete for the craft room the construction bundle was really easy just get 200 pieces of wood 100 pieces of stone and 10 hardwood the exotic forage bundle is a little bit harder but it's not that bad the easiest way to complete is to find forageables in the desert. Find the mushrooms on a mushroom floor in the regular mines and get a cave carrot from the mines. You can find cave carrots by hoeing dirt in the mines or by smashing boxes. The pantry is important. Once you complete it, your greenhouse will be repaired. That is a big deal. To complete the pantry, make sure to grow a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower and a potato in spring. As soon as they are fully matured, donate them to the community center. During summer, you will need to grow a tomato, a hot pepper, a blueberry and a melon to complete the summer crops bundle. In fall, you will need to grow corn, an eggplant, a pumpkin and a yam to complete the fall crops bundle. Unfortunately, you will also need to donate some gold quality crops. The easiest way to do this is to grow extra corn in summer as it grows throughout two seasons and grow extra melons and pumpkins. It is harder to get gold quality parsnips as you will have a low farming level at that stage of the game. You also need some raw animal products so purchase yourself two chickens, one of each color, then buy at least one of every different type of animal in the game. You will need them all. Just look after them until they give you what you need. Lastly you will need some artisan goods. The easiest way to complete the artisan bundle is to pick the fruit bat cave. To make things easier just turn some milk into cheese, craft and use Use a bee house, a preserve jar and a loom. You should have no trouble completing this bundle before winter and getting that sweet, sweet greenhouse. The fish tank is the scariest bundle to tackle if you are new to this game. Don't worry though, you got this. River fish can be found in the river and this is the river. Catch the sunfish in either spring or summer. Catch the catfish during spring or fall when it is raining. Catch the shad in spring, summer or fall when it is raining and catch the tiger fish in fall or winter. Next we have the lake. You can find the lake right over here in front of the mines. Catch the largemouth bass in any season. The carp in spring, summer or fall. The bullhead can be caught in any season and then we have the sturgeon. The sturgeon is hard to catch but keep practicing. Use a trap bobber fishing tackle and you will catch it. You can catch it in summer and winter. Now for the ocean bundle. You know where the ocean is. Catch sardines during fall and winter. Catch tuna during summer and winter. The red snapper can be caught during summer and fall but only when it is raining. The tilapia can be caught in summer and fall. Night fishing bundle. This this one can be tricky if you are not careful. First you need to catch the walleye. This fish can be caught at the lake in fall between 12 p.m. and 2 a.m. Then we have the bream and you can find breams at the river between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. during any season. The eel is the hard one here. It can only be caught during spring and fall when it is raining by the beach between 4 p.m. and 2 a.m. And yes, this little guy can be very difficult to catch. Specialty fish bundle. This one will take a while to complete but it is easy. First catch a ghost fish on floor 20 in the regular mines. Be patient, it will take a while. Then catch a puffer fish during summer between 12 pm and 4 pm. This one is really hard to catch, so good luck with that. The sandfish can be caught in the desert by simply casting a line in this little pond here. And lastly, catch a wood scoop in the secret woods during any time and any season by casting your line here. The last bundle we need to complete is the crab pot bundle. Surprisingly, you can complete this without ever crafting a crab pot. You can find a mussel, an oyster, a clam, and a cockle as beach forageables. Then just feed rocks in the regular mines until one of them drops a crab. Done. Easy. After completing all of the fishing bundles, you will be able to use a pan to search for loot in shimmering lights in the waters of Stardew Valley. Also, you can wear it as a hat. 
The Boiler Room is by far the easiest bundle in this entire game, but it does have a very awesome reward that will save you a ton of time. To complete the Blacksmith Bundle, just turn some copper, some iron and some gold ore into bars and donate those. For the Geologist Bundle, you will need to find some minerals in the mines. These include quartz and earth crystal, a frozen tier and a fire quartz. The last bundle in here is the Adventurer's Bundle. This one is also really easy. You only need to find a single solar essence and a single void essence to complete it. To find solar essence, defeat ghosts in the regular mines. To find void essence, defeat shadow brutes in the regular mines. You should not struggle with this one at all. Okay, it's time for the bulletin board. This is actually a tough one. For the chef's bundle, you will need a piece of truffle. Luckily, we bought pigs ages ago, so this should be easy. You will need to forage for a fiddle fern in the secret woods during summer. If you are struggling to upgrade your axe, use a chair like this to get there earlier. Grow a poppy during summer. Don't forget about that poppy. Now for the cooked meals. You will need to upgrade your house at least once. This will cost 10,000 gold and 450 wood. To get the recipe for the maki roll, watch the queen of sauce on the 21st of summer or buy the recipe from the star drop saloon you should already have the recipe for the fried egg cook them both and donate them the dye bundle is most likely the hardest bundle in this entire game first get a red mushroom you can find these on mushroom floors in the regular mines then grab a sea urchin repair the bridge by the beach to get sea urchins a sunflower can be grown in summer and fall the duck feather is a little bit tough so just make sure to buy a duck early in your playthrough and remember to pet and feed them every single day the aquamarine is easy to find you will find it randomly in your adventures at the mines or randomly from a geode. Red cabbage is the reason that this is so gosh darn difficult. To get red cabbage, visit the traveling trader every single Friday and Sunday and hope that she has it for sale. If you don't want to stress about it too much, you can use this setting to guarantee that she will sell it to you within the first year. Otherwise, Pierre will sell the red cabbage seed in the second year in summer. Luckily, the field research bundle is really easy. Once again, you can find purple mushrooms in a mushroom floor in the regular mines. You can forage for Nautilus shell during winter on the beach. You can catch a chub by fishing in the lake during any season. You will find a frozen geode during your adventures in the mines. The fodder bundle can be pretty annoying. To make your life easier, I would recommend buying an apple seed during your first season and planting that on your farm. You need three apples to complete this bundle and the only way to get them is with an apple tree that only produces fruit in fall or randomly in a fruit bat cave. You can easily buy 10 hay from Marnie and just plant some wheat during either summer or fall. Next is the enchanters bundle. This one can be tough since we need a rabbit foot. Make sure to buy rabbits really early into your playthrough just like the duck. Next, just make any kind of wine. Just craft up a keg, drop any fruit into it and donate some wine. Next, you need some oak resin. To get oak resin, just place a tapper onto an oak tree. Last and most definitely not least, the pomegranate. If you have the fruit bat cave, you should get one of these randomly throughout your playthrough. Otherwise, plant the pomegranate tree in either spring or summer. You need to plant the tree before fall as it takes 28 days to grow and then it only produces fruit in fall. The Vault Bundle, the last bundle, and also the simplest bundle. All you need to do is earn 42,000 gold and purchase all of the upgrades. This is really easy. Making money in this game is really easy. If you want to learn how to make money, then check out this video. Thanks for watching, but for now, I will see you in the next video.